Hello and welcome to Miss Enjoy Spiritual Life Advice Channel. I'm Miss Enjoy and I'm here to do your love and soulmate connection reading for I'm not on time, so it'll probably be like the third or fourth through the fifteenth. Um for November. I'm sorry, third or fourth through the fifteenth. I'm late, I'm late. Um so this is your love. Once again, this is your love and soulmate connection reading for my Aries for November. 3rd through the 15th, uh, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I do not read reversals here. I use many decks as clarifiers. What is flying around? Why is there always something flying around in here? I'm sorry. <laughs> this reading is not intended for singles. It's a love and soulmate connection. Even though you may be in a time of separation, but if you have a person in mind that you feel like is your soulmate, then this is for you, Okay. Um, I do not read reversals. Like I said, I use many decks as clarifiers. My readings are gender fluid and apply to same-sex couples as well. Simply choose the masculine or feminine energy that best applies to you. Um, remember, only you know which one or what one and what one is who. Um, just because it's a masculine or feminine card, it can still apply to anyone. All right. Um, let's see. What else? That's about it. Uh, I do not give outcomes. Because when dealing with love, everyone should use free will to make decisions and matters of the heart. I'm simply here to enlighten and advise. And please be aware that all advice is simply my opinion, okay? Your final decision is yours, all right? If I do not resonate with you, please feel free to take another reader or light worker. There are lots of wonderful readers and light workers here on YouTube who may have a message that is intended for you if I do not, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into your energy. Like I said, this is from my Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is your love and soulmate connection reading for November 3rd through the 15th. Um, I am going to ride all the way through this session with Cyril Marchetti. I think I did this the last time as well. Um, I keep ordering more decks of his. I absolutely love his work. So I'm going to, that's something I'm going to be doing. There's more. I have more. He has an Oracle deck. I'm going to get that. And he's got some other cards. But for the masculine energy, I'm going to be using Tarot of Dreams. And for the feminine energy, I'm going to be using um, Grant, Tarot Grand Lux. Okay. All right. And both by Cyril Marchetti. And then I'll be clarifying I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll let you know as I clarify. Whatever spirit moves me to do, and we must call spirit. We're an act spirit of the ancestors, gods and goddesses, guardian angels and watchers. So please be here to deliver a positive and accurate message for my collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November 3rd through the 15th. Oh, thank you, spirit. Only spirits that I called here are welcome here. And only spirits that mean us the greatest and highest of good are welcome here. Please protect us from all negativity and evil within this circle. Cover us with love and light. Thank you, spirit. Okay. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Oh, wait. I forgot. First, I will be using my Lisa Frank Major Arcana deck. Pretty, pretty. In order to pull one card that will speak to the overall energy of the relationship. Okay? So let's do that. All right. Spirit, may I have one Lisa Frank Major Arcana card? And we have the Empress card. Okay. That's fertility. That's power. That's strength. Um, could be a little mysticism or secrecy going on. It's, it may be something somebody's not quite revealing or telling somebody. Not necessarily like in the mode of dishonesty, but more like just not revealing. You know, more like withholding information than outright lying, which some people still consider lying depending on the information being withheld. You know what I'm saying. Okay, all right, so we're going to stick this here so we can remember what that is. All right, now we're going to use, like I said, Tarot of Dreams by Sarah Marchetti for the masculine energy. All right, Spirit may have a positive and accurate message for my Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the masculine energy. All right, spirit. Okay.
I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go with four cards because it seems to want to stick to give me four cards most of the time. I'm glad they fell face down. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, 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 ha ha, we All right, so let's go ahead and pull for the feminine energy. All right. Okay, this is tarot grand looks. Also, that's it on my study. It's going to have a positive and accurate message, insight into the feminine energy from my Aries collectors. I'm going to have for the 3rd through the 15th. Ooh. No, 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 no. Thank you. more cards, please, Spirit. I have two more cards, please, Spirit. I know, I know, I know. But you know, you know, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little spiritual conversation going on here. <clears throat> I think I'm not as talkative. <laughs> My energy is very different. I've been experiencing some upgrades, among other things. So, the Empress fell. We're going to leave her there because she was just flapping in the wind anyway. All right. All right, let's try. Okay. More cards, please. Okay. I have two more. One more card, please, Spirit, for my feminine energy. Let me talk to Spirit before. Let me have one more card, please, for my feminine energy. I just can't. I just can't. I just. Okay, okay, okay. Telling me snap out of it, girl. I, they know what I'm going through. Okay, all right. So, we have the Knight of Coins in the masculine energy. The Lover's card. Suck it, suck it now. In the masculine energy, the justice card in the masculine energy, and the ten of wands in the masculine energy. Okay, and then we have the chariot card in the feminine energy. Huh, he is riding those horses too. I don't even see it's. I don't even see a chariot. I just see it's like so much dust. It's like the horses are kicking up so much dust that he's in such emotion that you don't even see a chariot. You just see the, the driver and the reins and the horses and the dust. He is getting it. Okay? Somebody is in motion. Two of swords in the feminine energy as well. Four of coins in the feminine energy as well. And the nine of wands in the feminine energy. Okay, so it's complicated. You know how they put that relationship status? It's complicated. Okay. Okay. We got masculine up here. <clears throat> trying to offer, a, a, just, just trying to offer some stability. Okay, trying to make trying to make it right because he feels like this is a love and soulmate connection. All right, he feels very connected. When a masculine is connected, you know how that is because it's hard. It's so hard for them to connect. It really is. Pull a little non-emotional babies. It's so hard for a masculine to connect. So when they do connect, you know, it, it's, I hate to say it, but it's usually after some shit has gone down. And and by that time, I hate to say it, usually feminine is tired. And that's what I'm seeing here, okay? Because masculine is trying to make a change, okay? Um, 
And then he's in a place with the, the Ten of Wands here of really feeling burdened. Of really, really feeling some heavy weight on his back. Because that's exactly what's going on. In this depiction of the Ten of Wands, there, this deck, that's why I wanted to use these decks. They're so very deep. Um, in this depiction of the Ten of Wands, these are torches. These are flaming torches. And he's on his knees, hands and knees. He's in a fetal position on the ground. And <laughs> these are on his back. That's that's a burden. And he's naked. He, he's down there just in the raw. Just in the raw with those flaming torches. So, but... At the end of the day, masculine's in that. <clears throat> who is that tank? Who, or I don't know who did that song. Um, baby, I deserve. It's a man's song, so it's not in my key. For you to stay out with him all night. Baby, I deserve. For you to go out and find some other guy. You know that song? That song. That's the energy. That is the energy. That, that masculine is in. Okay? But yet and still, he just wants to make it right. Alright? But we got feminine down here. And feminine's like, I I I I really she want it's it's she's down here in should I stay or should I go mode? Okay? With the chariot card, the two of swords, the four of, of coins, and the, the nine of wands. It's should I stay or should I go? Should I move forward or should I hold on to this past? <sighs> Y'all. So you take your paper and you make a list. And you 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 can even assign numbers. As to the to to give value to the importance of each thing that you put, you're going to put a positive column and you're going to put a negative column, okay? And you're going to put everything good about each other on that on on that positive side, and everything negative and bad about each other in the relationship on that positive side. So there's going to be reasons to stay and reasons to go, okay? And like I said, you can even assign, for instance, if it's something like, okay, that person cheated. That's going to hold a little more weight than won't wash dishes. So you might want to give won't wash dishes a one or a two. Where you're going to give, like, uh, that person cheated a ten. Because that's some shit. Okay? Or that person lied. Depending on what they lied about, it could be on a scale from five to ten. You know? Because a lie is a lie. But... It, it, and when you get to the end, you're going to come up with your total or you're going to look at what column had the heaviest weight and you're going to make your decision based upon that. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull Journey of Love. No. I'm going to use Dark Goddess. I'm going to use Goddess Oracle for you. Okay, well, let me let me leave it so I can just in case, just in case. All right, spirit. Let me have. Uh, I'll do two. We'll do two dark goddess oracle cards, please. You know what? We'll do one dark goddess and we'll do one journey of love. That's what we'll do. Okay. All right. So, yeah, so <clears throat> I didn't even have to, wow, leveling up, buddy. Um, I didn't even have to clarify. This is, yeah, so this is, you know, I mean, clearly, I mean, masculine wants to start over. He, some, he wants another chance. He recognizes, he feels a very, very strong connection to this feminine here. Um... And he knows that whatever this is is that he's they're going through. He's, it, it's like he's done some things, you know. And and he's claiming what he's done. He's understanding the gravity of the situation, and he wants to fix it and make it right. But at the end of the day, 
Feminines down here, this chariot is hauling ass. I'm just saying. But she's still waffling, okay? She hasn't opted out of the game. She has not thrown in the towel yet. So let's see. All right. Oh, Sheena Drama. And where's my book? Okay, there's my book. And then we'll get the Zanoni. Yeah, that's because we have masculine who's who's feeling that, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, okay. So when this card, knowing without knowing, <clears throat> um, I don't even know what the message is. I haven't read it, but, but the message I'm getting, that's because this masculine is like, you know, like, like I said, he's in that baby I deserve mode that so... And then that still is is speaking to the fact that there may be another that you know some there's someone else that feminine is trying to move on from this and there is you know so for some of you there's someone else that feminine has moved on from this and uh, knowing without knowing. See how long it is. Shit. Okay. Knowing without knowing. Sometimes the heart knows. And no, I'm sorry. We're gonna. We're not gonna go. We're gonna go to the oracle and with the oracle. Okay. The oracle speaks to you of the opening up of your higher mind, of the part of your intelligence that can dialogue directly with the forces of the divine guidance and creation. Hold on. I didn't put my finger in the right place. Gotta turn the page. Wait a minute. These forces use symbols, abstract communication through dreams and visions, through impulses that circumvent your, your conscious mind and have words streaming out of your mouth or flowing through your mind that you have not created of your own volition. Someone speaks to you and you respond with words that you feel are that you feel you are hearing for the first time as they pour out of your mouth. Whose words are these you wonder? Is it your ancient self that speaks trust? The strange mysterious the strange and mysterious at this time? Is it another way, an ancient way of wisdom that you are tapping into now? Enjoy this new sacred connection unfolding. This oracle is also confirming that you have relationships around you now and continue to come to you that are from ties from long are, that are from ties long past. Karmic connections that will take you further on your journey of love. All right. See, yeah. That karmic. All right. Hmm. So this speaks to a karmic connection, you know? I mean, yes, you feel very connected, but at the end of the day, you were may have been in each other's lives just to teach each other a lesson, okay? Um because I'm this feminine down here is just not on you're not on the same you're not on the same page. Skill drama. So is that okay? There it is. Okay. All right. 
You should be on the stage. You're always the star of the show. What is it like to live in your own personal soap opera? It's interesting how most events in your life always seem to turn into an epic drama. If you find that you thrive on the attention on the attention your words and actions create, then you are most definitely a drama queen. Scylla knows all about dramas and swims in to warn you to pick your performances with care, <clears throat> as you generally seem to make life unnecessarily complicated for everyone around you. It is time to drop the theatrics before you lose your faithful audience. You have immersed the truth and reality into that of, of, of dramatic fiction. Scylla acknowledges your intense your intensities, but urges you to change this defense mechanism or she will drag you onto the rocks until you drown in self-pity. Woo! You are important and should not be invisible. Just try not to be so melodramatic about everything, okay? Understand that this is the advice. Understand that gossip affects the subject matter. What goes around comes around. Hmm. You've cried wolf too often. Don't be so too quick to point the finger. All right. Stop trying to steal the limelight. Don't get left in the wings. Someone is dominating a situation. And the Oscar goes to. Okay. So, you know, on one hand, it's, it's, it's. People get tired, I'm just saying, like I said at the beginning, people get, I mean, there's the term ride or die chick, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whether you're a ride or die chick or you're a Captain save -a either way, a person can get tired. You get tired of rescuing someone. You get tired. Of, you just get tired of pro a person constantly creating drama, unnecessary drama, unnecessary issues. And, you you know, so like I said, and usually by the time masculine realizes that all this was unnecessary, because honestly, you know, how much peace may you have had in your relationship, for instance, if you had been honest and faithful and loyal and done all the right things. You see what I'm saying? So when you you insight and then you say, oh, you're being dramatic and why did you go through my phone and all that stuff? No, 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 that's not how that works. There should be no offense and there will be no defense. Understood? Um, I love you guys. <sighs> Take it one day at a time. Masculine, um, there's going to need to be healing. All right. There's going to need to be time, okay? And you're going to have to work diligently at gaining trust and forgiveness back because this is feminine's in her chariot. She's ready to go, okay? And, and it's just a matter of things that a person no longer wants to deal with. And when the person gets to a point where they feel like a relationship is no longer serving them, okay? All right, guys, I love you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Um, I hope this was helpful to some of you. Um, just know, feminine, that whether there's another option for, weigh your options. Whatever those options are, weigh them very carefully. All right? And just also know that we are in Mercury retrograde, so it may not be the best time to make the decision to get on the chariot. However, if it's the type of thing where it's been an abusive or neglectful situation or relationship for a long period of time or just drama filled, you know, you know, and when this masculine is acknowledging though that baby, I know I did, I know I did, I know I did. And what you're doing now is I deserve every bit of that. There's definitely another, you know, there's always somebody waiting for a good woman. Know that. There's always somebody waiting on a good woman. Okay? So, feminine, weigh your options. I know you got them. That's what this was all about. All right? So, I love you. Um, good luck with this. And masculine, you just better hope that her captain save her doesn't save her from you. All right? Love you guys.
A list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.